Living overseas, people always ask, where is home? Living overseas, many people don't know the answer to that question. For me, home is California, USA. I was born and raised there. I moved to five different cities all around California. Whenever I, want, whenever I went on vacation, it was summer in California. All of my family is in California. It's home of my favorite things, places, and people. California is known for obviously its beaches and sun and beauty, but also for its agriculture. Because of for the demands for agriculture, lots of water is needed for the crops. Lots. Agriculture accounts for 80% of water in California, while only 2% is contributed to the state economy. In the year of 2013, California suffered its driest year ever since they started recording rainfall in 1849. Based on readings and data collections from trees, it's shown that California has never been this dry for at least 500 years. Why is this a problem? If there is no water in California, everything is affected. Water is needed for many different things. Different species need it to live. We humans need it for life in general. The economy needs it for tourism, etc. California has a large ski industry. When there's hardly any snow, there can't be skiing, and small businesses and hotels up in the mountains and around snow would have to close. Species like fish would be affected if the water levels dropped. If the fish can't migrate up river to spawn, they could, they could become endangered. Lastly, we humans would be affected because we need water to drink. Also, we would have a loss of food. Agriculture, agricultural food would be more costly due to the fact that farmers have to pay extra for the water they use to cultivate with because it is scarce. Lastly, Californians would have to pay, have to minimize the amount of water they consume. The solution is simple. We can conserve water in the simplest ways every day, whether it's turning off the faucet when you brush your teeth or turning it off when you soap your hands to wash them, whether it's taking seven minute showers rather than 20 or even things like not turning the water on full blast when you wash the dishes. These simple ideas can have a big impact on the future of your homes.